Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, second game that I'm doing a review on for my Xbox One channel is FIFA 15. Fortunately, you don't have a box to show you. Uh, it was a DLC that I got in the console bundle. Um, now, FIFA 15, it is this latest version of the game franchise, uh, released in September of 2014. Um. It's back, it's got uh, your ultimate team, it's got manager mode, uh, career mode, uh, kickoff mode, several different multiplayer options. Um, yeah, it's FIFA, it's football. Um, each year they say that it gets better and better. Um, graphically, you know, it's probably the best one out there. Gameplay wise, you know, it's the same as FIFA 14. There's not much else that's different. Um, it's also, you know, the same as the others. It is pretty cool. I have noticed the one thing uh, that the keeper's reactions. So if you have a shot, it gets slightly defected. The keeper does have chance to move another way to get the ball. So that is pretty cool, you know, it's true to life as as uh, they try to make it. But it's it's FIFA, it's football. Uh, there's not many ways to change it. It's There's new kits, there's new players, uh, different transfers. So like Gareth Bale, for example, he's in, uh, in the Real Madrid squad. Still, the main person uh, that's the better one is Messi. Uh, getting to the point where the Ballon d'Or, you know, winner Ronaldo, will he ever be on the front cover? Um, will he ever, you know, be better than Messi? But Messi's on the front cover; he's still the better of the two players, apparently. Um, You've got the disappointment of trying to run after the ball, but then the game doesn't want you to, so it slows you down. So it puts you on a path which gets annoying. Um, also, if there's a deflection, it always goes to their player, which is annoying. If uh, if a player nudges you. You know, it uh, sends you off the ball, the ball goes that way, you go off. That's annoying. Another one is when they're holding hands. Now, not physically holding hands, but for some reason they're running alongside each other. And they'll start holding hands, even if you're going past them. You know, he's holding his hand. What the fuck's that all about? Every game for years and years, they're holding each other's hand. Fog off. I'm running. When when did he do that? I'm... I'm yeah, Saturday. Yeah, in the Premiership you don't see two players holding hands as they're running around down the wing. No! FIFA, you got to stop holding players' hands. But apart from that little rant, you know, it's it's the same entertaining football game. Um, Pez, you know, doesn't even come close, really. Um, I haven't had a Pez game in a long time. I don't intend to. FIFA's the one for me. FIFA's the one I'm going to collect. Uh, I'm going to play it more and more as I can. But guys, um, after my little rant, thank you for watching uh, FIFA 15, which my game was a DLC. Uh, very enjoyable, the graphics are amazing, uh, best so far. Another thing that annoys me, I've set it so that on my career mode, I'm uh, you know, beginning mode, as it were, difficulty. So, you know, start it off, you know, build your character up, build up the hardness. That's how I do it. And uh, you could score 20 goals in one game, you could set up 14 goals, you know, shit, silly things like that. And yet, you never get man of the match. It's very difficult to get man of the match, even if you score 20 goals. You could have 40 shots, 20 go in, and uh, yeah, you don't get man of the match. And somebody who's had three passes, one goal, and one assist, they get man of the match. Because they've got 100% record, which is wrong. It's silly. But yeah, FIFA, there's a reason why they do it every year. It's uh, the best one. Graphics are great, gameplay is great. They're only going to get better and better. Well, thanks for watching my uh, FIFA review. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Also, read the voted links down below as per usual. Go check them out. Use TobyWTD. Get 20% off any read the voted item you just started. Bye! Links down below as per usual. But, guys, thanks for watching my review of uh, FIFA 15. Thanks for watching.